Hey guys, this is Full Gaming Instincts here, and today we'll be continuing on with the tutorial series on how to create a first person shooter game in Unity. Now, if you're new, I recommend you go and view my previous tutorials and then come to this one to get a proper understanding of what's going on and how we come about to this point. And also remember to check the link in the description below and download the packages, you know, so you'll have what I have in my project here anyways let's get down to it this is part two of building the player um part one we added uh some weapons some scripts and today we'll be focusing on the animations so what you're going to want to do as usual check the link in the description below download the package and just import in the project you should end up with a folder named as tutorial 5 animations now these are some gun models here when you open up this is some gun models folder this is the gun models that i promised you guys from the previous tutorials five gun models you guys can use them how you see fit you're welcome uh these are the this is the play animation with a machine gun i created some animations already you know for the machine gun you guys can use that or use whatever animation you create it's all up to you and the player animation script will be available in the package so let's get down to it just want to open up the first person player the first person control sorry I'm uh, going to play weapons and just select the rocket launcher because we already have an animations for the machine gun. Just highlight this here. Just go down here. And you should notice it's not going to have animations. It's going to have an animator. You need to remove the component that I just did. You just select this icon here next to the animator. Remove it. And in the CSS arms as well, it's going to have the same thing. Just go, same process. Remove the component which is the animator. So basically what we need to do now is create add a component so we're gonna go in here when you add components it's gonna look like this you just type A and you select animations and it's that simple now I'm not too sure the settings are in some older versions of Unity but uh, just look for this icon here and uh, add tab animations and this panel should pop up all you need to do now is just select the record button and just type the name of the animation you want to create so the name of the animation I'm going to be creating here is going to be idle I'm going to just name this idle 2 because I have an idle 1 already so yeah that's some good stuff now if I position the rocket launcher it's going to create a keyframe that's what we want that means that um, let me just show you create another keyframe this means if I hit play you see two keyframes these are the two positions you know that's it so basically what I'm gonna do now I'm just gonna delete this keyframe you just select it and delete it you know uh, went up and then I'm gonna just put this at one this is zero seconds half of a second one second two second like that so I'm just gonna go down then I'm gonna go up to the side then I'm gonna go down and then to side good stuff so if you look there this is an idle animation it's gonna play you know it's going a little bit too fast all you need to do is just position these stuff a little bit out just move the keyframes select it and just drag it to whatever position you want it whatever second you want it to be at you know yeah that's some good stuff so if you look at it now it's playing that idle animation at a rate that we want it to be played you know good stuff you guys can play around with it and you know get it to your liking just uh, go click here create new clip I'm gonna name this walk to I'm just run through this pretty quickly same procedure you know you just create a walk animation now to select the record button remember to select the record button when it's selected this will be red red line and you just position this up position this down and just position this up position this down same thing again up then down I'm just doing this pretty quickly you guys can play around with it you know that's a nice walk animation you know I'm just gonna delete the last keyframe because it went up a little bit too much some good stuff and if we hit play now it's gonna be like that you know good stuff yeah so that's basically a walk animation we just created there we just named this as fire too you just make the animation however you want it to be made you know I'm just doing this pretty quickly for tutorial sake, you know. This is a normal fire animation for 
a rocket launcher, you know? Yeah. Create a new clip. We're gonna name this jump animation. Jump one. Jump two, sorry. Remember to name all of the um, stuff it's doing. We'll just keep yourself a little bit organized. Select the record button and just bring this up here. Create a keyframe and just put it to one second. And we're just gonna bring it. Hold on. Let's go back to the first keyframe and just carry it up a little more. And just go to this one second and just bring this down. So when you hit play now, it's gonna look like that. Let's bring down the last keyframe a little more. Some good stuff. Yeah. And we just go there create a new clip again and we're gonna just name this sprint 2 good stuff hit the record button and we're just gonna go up down and then up again and then down same procedure as I was showing you guys just now you know and then up and down good stuff so you look there, it has a nice sprinting effect that we're looking for, you know? Yeah. And that's basically it. We created five animations. Now the script actually is set to reference for five animations, you know? I'm gonna teach you guys another um, time and how to get some other animations in there. But this is a base, these are the basics of the basic animations you're gonna need for your game. You know, as I told you, this, guy, uh, this is a basic tutorial, you know? Show you guys basics and making a game, basic game, you know. Anyways, um, you need to go to the animation. If you look here, all the animations are set. You just need to go to the animation and set them now. Now you know this is uh, default. Now we need this to loop. No, we need this to stay at default. Sorry, we need the idle to loop. You know, because we don't want it to play the idle animation once and then stop. You know, the the jump is gonna be at once because when you jump up, you don't want the animation to be playing once you're jumping up in the air and you're still in the air and the animation is looping. You know, you're gonna play the sprint as loop and we'll take the walk as loop as well. And what you're gonna want to do is just open up tutorial five animations and go to the script and we're gonna just select the script folder and create a new JavaScript and name it player. A N I M two. Good stuff. And we need to open this up in model develop. And we're gonna need to create a script for our rocket launcher. And also uh, open up the play animation as well. You know. And what you're gonna want to do is copy this here, delete it, and just copy this one here. Copy everything you see here, and just paste it over here. And all you need to do now is just look, excuse me, look for where you see shoot one and just put fire two. This basically means that if input or get mouse button, the fire button down, it's gonna play the fire animation as we want it to. If you press W, it's gonna play walk two. Just set it now. And the, the idle, just put idle two. Wherever you see idle, just put idle two. The sprint, you're gonna put sprint to the idle, idle to the jump as jump to, simple as that. And just control save, or you can go to files and save. It will have showed up here if it was not saved already. Anyways, you just do that. Then you wait for one of the Unity to load up the script. After this load up, you just drag it onto the game object and that's basically it so yeah you hit play now you should see the scripting effect whenever you press the key the animation will play at that certain time however you set it so when you hit play this is the animation that i already created for you guys you can use it or you can just make your own you just select two for the weapon you can see the animation is playing in the background and you play the shoot it plays the shoot animation you play the sprint it plays the sprint animation you jump it plays the jump animation so yeah that's pretty much it that's how you add the animations to your play in unity uh hope you guys like this tutorial if you do give me a thumbs up uh the next tutorial i'm going to be teaching you guys how to load the next level using a javascript it's going to basically have a countdown timer when the timer reaches to zero it's going to load the next level and uh, you know stuff like that so yeah that's pretty much it uh, 
Remember to subscribe, keep yourself up to date with my tutorial series. You know, hope you guys like the gun modes I get for you guys, and uh, hope you guys like this tutorial as well. Hope you guys learned something. Anyways, if you do, that's good. At least I helped you guys out in some way or another. So, until next time, continue making games. Peace.